Boy, that's a big sucker. Wow. Hey, Namaskar everyone, how are you? Hopefully everybody's been doing fantastic. Listen, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. I hope you're gonna stick around. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. And as always, welcome back means we are on another adventure, which also means you're gonna wanna know a couple things. You're gonna wanna know, one, where are we? And then two, what are we doing? Let's, let's figure that out. Let's start with where we are. We are in Northeast Ohio. Um, the, the, the home city, the birth city of Kid Cudi and, and Doughboy, right? That's right, we're in Seatown, Cleveland, Ohio. But what are we doing in Cleveland, Ohio today? Well, what we're gonna do is we are gonna visit America's largest candy store. That's right. So if you're like me and you have a sweet tooth, I mean, come on, check that out. This video is going to be pretty darn sweet. So if you're ready for today's adventure, I suggest you get off the couch, you get ready, and let's go. We are right here. Right here. That is fantastic. Gotta go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look at all of them. I think they're ready to kick my ass. Harden saliva you're okay you're okay for watching my channel Jesus God mamma mia look what we got shh I said there's people still sleeping calm down we're gonna go we're gonna go I told you she was afraid of bridges do not stop it now that is the starting point of the trail I, I guess I don't know. You can start at the beginning or you can start at the end. I don't think it matters wh where you start at. Uh, but wherever you start, that's your starting point. <laughs> oh, shit. That's why I tell you, if anybody's looking for an HJ, this is the spot. Take a sip. <sighs> History. Better Malanga. Okay, so I told you. We're in Cleveland, Ohio, and we are at America's largest candy store. That would be the BA Sweetie Candy Company. Okay? Now, I'm gonna walk around here because the, the store's actually right there which we're gonna go into, but they also have a little golf, a golf land over here, but I, I thought the front of this building was pretty cool, so we'll check that out first. But BA Sweetie Company, it, it, uh, it, was, it was started in 1950, um, and it started in the basement of a house. And what they did is, is they repackaged candy um, and they sold to different stores and pharmacies and all that. Um, then they moved, I believe, like it was, it was a garage, like a two-story garage that they went into. And it grew from there. Um, and it went through some ownerships. And in 1982, Tom Scheiman, he bought this and he took Sweetie Company to pretty much the next level. And what we're going to be walking into is a 40,000 square foot candy heaven, you know, pretty much. I've actually never been in there, so you're going to see it right as I see it if you haven't been here before. But uh, there's the front of the building right here. And I think they have a soda shop. Yeah, this is like a soda shop in here where you can get malts and and uh, ice cream and that but look there's the ice cream cones and the windows almost looks like a swiss uh, cuckoo clock kind of to me got the peep coming did you see that did you see the crow go in there and uh oh i like the little vein up in the, on the very top but yeah there's a peep right in the window there the two uh, ice cream cones yep sweeties soda shop 
And we can walk in here just for a little bit. There's Sweetie's Golf Land. And then, oh, look at the bees flying. Oh, I don't like those. Um, <laughs> look, it's vines. It's vines that go around and they're growing jelly bellies. How cool is that? Now, we're not going to play golf today. We're not going to play mini golf today. But I just kind of wanted to show you, if you do visit here, you can uh, come in here and play mini golf. Look, they got the suckers all up in here. And of course, the jelly belly guy. How cool is that? Got the jelly belly guy. <laughs> awesome. Well, look at here. Yeah, it goes all the way back there. It's like, it's almost like a, it's almost like the, the, uh, the game board from Candyland, actually. Look, there's some doves there's some doves over there yep got some doves it's all kind of doves in there flying around and then you get i don't know if these work hopefully they do these are always cool ah that one's out of order and then you go in here and uh wow look it's all it's there's a cow it's a cow theme in here which would make sense yeah this is uh I don't think this is open right yet. I think this opens a little later, but you can get, oh, look at the milk cans in there. I think we can still see from inside when we go inside. Yeah, check that out. But yeah, what makes this even more, what makes this more uh, interesting is as big as this place is, it's still a small company. It's a small local company and to even further that, uh, the owner he kind of he kind of likes to keep that going, and he likes to get his supplies from local small businesses um, alike. So that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, goes a plane up there. I was just on one of those uh, a week ago, or two weeks ago. Here's a cow bench. That's, that's like a selfie spot right here. Back to my milkman days. Yeah, it gets pretty busy in here so far. But yeah, this is, uh, yeah, right here is the hours for the soda shop. So they open at 12. Today is Saturday, so this is open from 10 to 7 i believe there it is ba sweetie candy company oh cool i didn't notice that a little hopscotch okay okay this looks like now this would be the map of cleveland cedar point is up there with soda pops i don't know about soda pops i don't know if i've ever seen that actually um but they have the uh, they have the history. Let's see. Let's see if I got my history right. So, yeah, Tom Scheiman, founder and owner. Like I said, he purchased that in 1982, I believe. But since 1950, right there, it started in a uh, little building. I know it started in the basement of a house and then went to a two-story garage. Um. Yeah. See. They used to repackage Marks, Convenience, Silverman's, Rexall. See, and they just kept getting bigger and bigger. 4,000 square foot building, 6,000 square foot building. Today, 40,000 square foot building. And those are the customers. Heinen's, Acme, Dave's, TA, and more. Actually, they're right there. I'll get to that. That's pretty cool. But yeah, that this is a map of... Uh, Cleveland, the, the north, not just Cleveland because that that's Sandusky over there. It's 90, 80, 480 should be somewhere, 77, 71, some, 71 somewhere. Yeah, right there. Yeah, there's still some of the places that he, uh, or that they service. There's the city of Cleveland right there, Sea Town. That's pretty cool. 
That is pretty cool. There's some peppermint patties over there. Let's check this out though. I didn't show you the, uh, there's some Sour Patch Kids in the corner. This is the, uh, yeah, this is where you walk. I was never good at hopscotch. I never understood it. Maybe we'll see some, uh, why don't I hopscotch? I just got asked to hopscotch. So how do you hopscotch? What do you do here? Let me get you a rock. Hold on. We're going to hopscotch. Nope. They have the even sweeties 2015. Okay. That's when they moved here. You got to okay. throw your rock and whichever one it lands on, you have to throw your rock. Oh, that was no good. I missed the whole thing. Don't be a <laughs> Four. Okay. So what do I have to do? Well, if it's two feet, you go like this, one foot. So what do I have to do here? You gotta go to four. So two feet, one, one. You gotta have to show me because I don't know no, how I to do it. So what do I do, this? Yeah, no, one foot, one foot. Then skip it? No, you gotta land on that one, pick up your rock and turn around. Okay. Come back. There you go. First time ever hopscotching, so I don't get it, but okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I think, uh, Let's go in and check this out. Maybe we will see some cool candy stuff in here. Okay, enter. Right off the bat. Free candy, take one. Go take one. Take one. I don't know if there's anything in there. It's empty. They make their own popcorn here too. And I think not too long ago they per they purchased the uh, Humphrey uh, Popcorn Company, and it, they're from actually from Cleveland. Yeah, right there. I like this. It has the Euclid Beach Park towers right there. It's pretty cool. And look at this. Right when you come in. Awesome. Got the M&M's. Let's see, what do we got all in there? The Jelly Belly, Butterfinger, Jolly Ranchers, Dr. Pepper. There's a Pixie Stick right there. Tootsie Rolls, the Ring Pop, Whoppers, Necco. We'll have to go check out the Neckos. Cause just look how big it is. It's all, they got other stuff over there too. What's that? There's the what's that like the golf land kind of area right there that they have? Cool. Big league chew. Popcorn. Awesome. Uh oh, I hear music. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, look at the popcorn right there. That right there is a, you could fill that up and you could watch the trilogy of Lord of the Rings. I think that that should do it. Here's some, uh, I got to go fast around this one because of the music, but Dragon Ball Z balls. I remember when this was in cans, we used to race. I remember when it, when balls first came out. Carrot cake, cookie dough. Pickle flavored soda. Maybe that'll go with the uh, pickle uh, moonshine that I got last month. What else do they got here? Mustard <laughs> flavored soda. Yeah, I don't know. Buffalo wing soda. Oh no. Bubble up. I remember bubble up because I think that's old. Moxie. Yeah, that don't take. I don't like Moxie. Look at this. This is cool, right? Wow. Lemonade. Dirt soda. Grass soda. Look at some of this dog drool. Kitty piddle. Where we have swamp juice. Fungal fruit. Awesome. Barf soda. What is that? Great chunky, great chunky flavor. 
Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Zombie brain juice. Unicorn yak. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. We'll see what we got. Razzles. That's uh what's Razzles? What 13 going on 30. That that was you know that's another thing. Uh a lot of candy. We're probably gonna see a lot. A lot of candy's been featured in movies, so maybe we'll maybe we'll talk about some when we when uh when we see some of those. Look at this, the wall of Pez. Every time I see a big wall of uh of items i think of bucky's for some reason there's some star wars pez harry potter look they got the hello kitty pez down here care bear, care bear pez that's cool yeah look my little pony disney princesses wonder woman wow they got a lot of pez sweet Oh, look at that it's it's all kind of stuff i'm gonna get as much as i can for you but i did see something down here where was the neckos yeah right here neko i don't know this is like my dad's favorite candy for some reason even to this day when he goes into uh when he goes into a store a convenience store he just kind of puts his hand in there and, and whatever he grabs it could be two it could be five whatever that's what he grabs but uh neko if you didn't know it stands for New England Confectionery Company. So, now you know. Here's the chocolate ones. All right. Wow, they have a lot of stuff. Circus, Circus Penis Spangler. They're out of, uh, I think they're out of Bryan. They're out of Bryan, Ohio. Yeah, Spangler. I think they make the Dum Dums too, I, I believe. Wow, check it out. Astro Pops. You know, these were once these were once discontinued. And uh I think yeah, that's the original cherry passion fruit and pineapple. Those are the original flavors. Those were actually it's funny because those were actually invented and started uh by two uh rocket scientists actually. I think they were in Ca from California and they quit their job and they started making Astro Pops. They created the equipment to do it because I think the actual the actual wrapper the, the candy was actually poured into that. That's how what that was the mold actually for it and it's supposed to resemble a, a three-stage rocket. So I thought that was cool. And then it was discontinued and I leaf I think bought it and uh, the company and they I think it took them a couple years to uh, redesign the equipment because they wanted to make the uh, they wanted to make the Astro Pop exactly how it was and uh, there we have it now there also there is a shot called an Astro Pop but that's a that's a different story <laughs> so but yeah the Astro Pop is back at it and I thought that was a cool uh, cool little thing that rocket scientists uh, actually started that. Very awesome. Got the candy cigarettes. Red Hots lemon heads. Chewy lemon heads. All the gummies. That's cool. Wow, they have a lot. Look at it. It's everywhere. Wow. Yeah, look at that. It's the whole... The whole store over here astronaut ice cream and i believe i believe that they never had ice cream in space isn't that the story they never had yeah they never had ice cream in space so you get like fusion these i don't like i don't like but i i think they are a pretty big seller but yeah i i don't like those at all like those are cool Wax fangs, can't go wrong with that. Can't f candy fire buttons. These were always cool, but but for some reason I could never get these off without having uh, paper stuck to it. Smarties, the big Smarties. Oh, the, the gold mine. 
nuggets. Those are awesome. Very cool. I remember these. Yeah, I remember those. There's some more than that goes. <laughs> Coconut slices. They have where this is made. I, I want to say this is. I want to say this company is out of Cincinnati. Let's, let's keep going. Or something. Trevor, something like that. Dayton or Cincinnati. Why? Trevor, we have the Chico together, stick. Buddy. Moon pies. My favorite. Made in my favorite city in Tennessee, Chattanooga. The moon pie. All right. Cow tails. I do, I do. I remember just when cow tails was just one flavor. Oh, these are my. You want to talk about a favorite candy that I have? Right here. Right here. Ice cubes. One of my favorites. I dig that. I might have to get some of those. All right. Let's keep going down and seeing what we. Pop rocks. Check it out. Sour pop rocks. Wow. Zots. Man, who remembers those? They fizz in your mouth. Candy shots, slime, slush. But this is really cool. They had a lot of stuff in here. Sour. Sour gel, sour candy, sour rockets. All the... Yeah, this is all like the gummy stuff here. This is very cool. Caribou, which would be the original. These right here would be the original gummy bears. I think that was in the 80s when that started. Yeah, look at that. Just a big warehouse in here. Yeah, I might have to get some of these. I, I, I love those. Very cool. We'll get over there because I see some other candy back there. It's awesome. Gum. Swedish fish, red hots. There's snow caps. Who in the heck likes those? Freaking Emily. Oh my goodness. I had to put that in there because Minnie's friend, that's her favorite candy. Okay. <laughs> ah, red vines. I like red vines over Twizzlers, but not the flavored ones. They have to be the original. Oh, they got games here too. Got gliders, toss across, Yahtzee, Boggle, apples to apples. Look at this. Slip and slide. They actually have a slip and slide. That's very cool. Wow. Very cool. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I'm looking for some candy that was in movies as well. I'm sure we will because it was mostly chocolate. What's over here? Peeps. Never. I don't know. They make everything like with, with poop things and I, I don't care for it. I don't want nothing that reminds me of poop that I'm like eating. What's this? Oh, cool. There's a peep up there. Got that, look, chocolate rabbits. Chocolate and the vanilla rabbit up there. Easter, 50% off. They still have Easter candy, huh? Yeah, this would be all the Easter stuff back there. Wow. Cool. Sweet. There's some big pez. Yeah, this is still all Easter stuff right here. Junior mint eggs. Yep, so I guess you can come here and still grab Easter stuff. Here's some of a fan candy that, you know, you pay more for <laughs> that than the candy. Let's see what we can see here. Those are my favorite dots. Oh, these, these two right here. 
better than Reese's. Boyer, I love them. And this should be the Mallow Cup, right? Yep, the Mallow Cup. Man, that's, look at that. Oh my God, that's heaven. Wow, Mallow Cups. I think that's Mindy's favorite, right? The Crunch Bar. Now the Crunch Bar was actually, that was in a, uh, that was in a uh, movie, Die Hard, actually. Uh, at, at the tower, what was it, the uh, Nakatomi Tower? When they were having the, uh, it was gonna be the, the SWAT shootout. And one of the bad guys, I think U Umi, I, I, I forget his name, I think it was Umi. He was, he, he reached into the display, the candy display, and he grabbed the crunch bar. So that was, uh, that was one that was in a movie. What else do we got here? Wow, okay. Yeah, they got all kind of stuff here. Did we, did we, was there Snickers? Yeah, they're also, here we did, I passed them up. Snickers was also, uh, not so much in a movie, but if you watch Seinfeld, um, it was Elaine's boss used to eat Snickers with a, a, a fork and knife, and then George found that out, so he started eating his Snickers with a fork and knife, and he used to do that, like when they went out to eat at his office meetings and stuff, and before you knew it, everybody was eating a Snickers with a fork and knife. So that's a, that's a little, uh, <laughs> a little uh, uh, fun fact about Snickers. These uh, just remind me of all the uh, little uh, corner stores and stuff that you can get in the little baggies, the fruities. But they are good. Wow. Toblerone. Fudge. Mackinac Island Fudge. Is that really Mackinac Island Fudge? It, it might be. Let's see. I have a bunch in the freezer. Oh, yeah, we do have a bunch in the freezer. Yeah, Mackinac Island Fudge. When we went up to Michigan, um, that's all Mindy was doing was buying all this fudge from everywhere. Those remind me of like the of the fairs and stuff. The whirly pops. Fort Knox. Look at that, the gold coins. Fort Knox. Casino chips. I've never seen these. That's pretty cool. Casino chips. Check these out. I've I've not seen some of these before. That's cool. That's pretty neat. What's up there? Okay, those are still those suckers. Sizzling bacon lollipop. Wow, basketballs. That looks like chocolate. Look, all these gold coins. This is like the money aisle right here. I remember these, the cigars. I used to love those. Turtles. Reason. I think I see some stuff we can talk about over here. There's the cellos. I used to like these too. Those, those are good. Those are good. Here we go. Here's like the candy bar, candy bar. Let's see. What do we have? What do we have here? Man, we got all kind of stuff. Sweet. M&Ms. Yeah, so we already know about Snickers with, with Seinfeld. Baby Ruth. What do we know about the Baby Ruth bar? What movie was the Baby Ruth in? I can name two. Baby Ruth was actually in Goonies when, when Chunk offered Sloth uh, the Baby Ruth and they became friends. And then also in Caddyshack, if you ever watch Caddyshack, they threw, because the pool was filled and they threw a Baby Ruth into the pool and it looked like a floating turd. Um, <laughs> and everybody got out of the pool. So yeah, there's two movies that Baby Ruth was in. There's the Chunky, the Mallow Cup. What's another one? I'm looking for a Clark bar. We need a Clark bar. 
These were these were always fun too. Those were cool. Yeah, what else did we see? We've seen the Astro Pop already. Ah, Zagnut, that was in a movie. Give you a hint. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. This was in a movie when he was trying to get the fly and he offered to fly a Zagnut. Come on, just take a little bite. Okay, so there was a movie. Mm hmm. Any, any uh, Reese's Pieces? Do we see any Reese's Pieces? Here we go. Here's the Reese. Let's see if we see any Reese's Pieces. Huh. Reese's Pieces right here. This was also in a movie. Can you guess which one? E.T. Now... If you go back in my videos, you can learn all about the man who played E.T. That was Michael Patrick Bylan. Um, scroll back through through my channel, you'll see that. But Reese's Pieces was moved or, or was used in E.T. And that's when Elliot lured E.T. closer to him into the house, I believe it was, or into that shed. And uh, what's funny about that is Steven Spielberg actually wanted M&Ms. And... I don't know if, if they declined it or they just didn't get back to him in time. Um, but Spielberg's son actually told him, why don't you use Reese's Pieces because they're just better anyway. So um, Hershey's and Reese's Pieces ended up getting that getting that uh, in the movie. And Mars, which it would be M&M's, uh, they lost out on it. Yeah, I just don't see the Clark Bar anywhere. Like I said, I know they were discontinued, but I thought, I thought they brought them back out and and uh, uh, we're doing like a Pittsburgh theme with it. But I don't know. I don't see it. But that was in uh, Clark Bar was actually in Hocus Pocus. Um, I don't know if it was Hocus Pocus or Hocus Pocus Two. I'm not sure. What are these? Ah, these. These, I'm going to have to get some of these. Suckers. Hot suck. Here, this is the fun stuff right here. Insect. Uh, get some worm snacks and crickets. What's down there? Anything hot? Oh, Scorpion. Scorpion. Oh, yeah. Worm, worm suckers. Look at that. You can see the worm in there. All these and <laughs> the crickets inside it. That's pretty cool. Man, I really wish they had a Clark bar. Maybe I just maybe I did miss it somewhere. I don't know. I I think I missed an aisle though going down uh look at all the laffy taffy. And pixie sticks. That's what I'm looking for too, because pixie sticks, that reminds me of uh if we see it, I know there was a big one when we first entered and I was showing you what was in that little basket. That always reminds me of the breakfast club uh, when Allison, um, she put, she was making that sandwich. What was it? It was it was just white bread. It was butter. I think she put Captain Crunch on it and then she sprinkled uh, the uh, pixie sticks on it. Mini, mini chickles. What's chickles? There's them satellite wafers. Can <laughs> do not like those. I don't like those. Chocolate. What are those? Huh? What? What is that? Color splash. What do they do? Change colors or something? I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be like paintball. Guns. Ah, look at this. Look at this. I am definitely going to get one of these. So I think after we, after I show you around the video, or after I show you the store, um, I'm probably going to come back and pick up a few things. Now, if you like Mexican candy, I don't know about you. I don't know if you like tamarind or not, but this right here, Paparindo, these, 
And I'm telling you right now, I always have this sitting by my bed. Always. And it's in the original though. They have the other ones. They have the spicy and they have the uh, mango and stuff like that. The original. This one right there is what you want. They, they do have some of the other. Wow, they do have all the Mexican candy here, man. These, the line. Yeah, look, they, oh, wow. They do. The crazy fresa. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. These I don't really care for. Wonder if they have the Pelon Pella Ricos. You have the Pelon Pella Ricos? I don't see Pelon Pella Rico anywhere. No, nah, no Pelon Pella Rico. Yeah, they have some cool, cool, uh, Mexican candy though. Okay, I just noticed something. You know how I was looking for Clark bars? Because I wanted to show you what the Clark bar was. I, I told you it was in Hocus Pocus. Um, right here. Like I said, I know they were they were discontinued and they brought they got them brought bought bought brought back out. Right there. Available at checkout. Limit of two. So I will be getting two of those. They're hard to find, the Clark bars. But there we have. They do have them. I know everybody's gonna laugh at me, but I this this is I love those. I love those. Those look like the cherry, cherry little balls up there. All these Pez. Wow. How cool is this that you can buy a whole bag of Pez? That's awesome. These were always cool, but I didn't care for the bananas that much. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Oh man, burnt peanuts. Wow. Are these the almonds? Jordan almonds. Jordan almonds, another thing. Reminds me of like going to weddings when I was a kid and stealing everybody's little package of almond w w in inside the netting. <laughs> so yeah. They even got the big all these. Look at those chicken feet gummies. Wow, it's pretty cool. They got a lot. All the chocolates. Silver rocks. Uh-oh, here's the uh, big snow caps. <laughs> I, these, this reminds me of going to maybe the V-Rock <laughs> when I see those bags. Did you already go to the other side, boys? All these gummies and gels, but I do, I do see all the jumbo gummy bears, which depending on what company is, some of these, some of these big gummies aren't, aren't that great. Gummy snake, gummy pizza, what's that gummy shake? Gummy taco. Oh, look at that. It is. It's a full gummy taco. Wow. Gummy noodles. That's cool. I dig those. Cotton candy. There's cotton candy all over here. Gummy Lunchables. Gummy. This is weird. Gummy bacon. Gummy hot dogs. Little variety packs up here. Here's something, uh, all the die cast. I like those. When I was a kid, those used to be my favorite, the big ones like that. What do we got in there? Check that out. That's cool. Frito Lay. There's a O. Henry car. Milk Duds. These look like crystals. Yeah, this is all the baking crystals and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of companies too from from Ohio. I didn't see. Maybe I passed it up. Those those uh, peppermint puffs. Did you see the peppermint puffs? 
they're peppermint puffs and that's arnold's candies um out of akron makes those which you can actually go visit uh yeah i didn't see those they have the molds for the chocolate making your own candy salt water taffy I don't know for some reason for some reason I only like to to buy um, saltwater taffy like when I'm by the ocean for some reason I don't know why crystal wands I don't know about those I think it's just way too much sugar for me what's uh in here cold drinks yeah, they have some of them in here that I've seen. There's the dog rule in there. Whirly pop, knee high. I think I said it in the past. Knee high always reminds me of uh, my pastor, uh, Pastor Neiman at church. I didn't notice that at first. There's an old truck here. This don't this remind you of Bucky's a little bit? Reminds you of Bucky's. cool very cool yeah that's a there's a little truck up there with the bottles in the back got the big sucker back there yeah we're on, we're at the end of this store there's the pocky sticks oh here's more of those right here here's the ghost pe oh they do got more over here check this out a whole dried Carolina Reaper. You know what? <laughs> I think I'm gonna get, I think I gotta get some of those, right? Cool. Board games. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, here's all the bulk items that you can get. And get yourself, I guess, if you want a certain amount. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they have a little, little bit of everything here. The slices. Oh, I thought those were those red coins. I used to like those red coins. They were like really sticky. There's, I told you, it reminds me of the convenience stores. Big gumball right there. Shiner gumballs. The world's least favorite candy right here, the candy corn. And it is true, it's the world's uh, least favorite. Uh-oh. Pink flamingos. I don't think I've ever seen those ones before. Pink flamingos. There's a little Haribo bear, bear up there. What's back here? This is a little bit of a little bit of everything back here. All oh, the jelly bellies. Uh oh, what's that up there? It's a sign made out of jelly bellies. Made with jelly bellies from this department. Yeah, this one I like, but I can only have a few of them at a time. Very cool. Oh, I see something in here. Let's see, Toy Topia. There's the Army Men. Yeah, because they do sell the games here, so. Uh, there's the soda shop in there too. Oh, check this out. Here's the here's the uh, here's the history again of of uh, sweeties. And then check this out. 
Euclid Beach Park. There's a zinger back there, which is kind of like the zipper, looks like. Look at the train. They painted the train. Looks like a lifesaver. Got the filled with nerds. Parachute ride. Little Ferris wheel back there. Look at that big Ferris wheel. There's a golf land. The rockets, that reminds me of Idora Park actually right there. Got a mini Etch-a-Sketch, Gumby. I, I dig, I, I like how that's built right there. That's really neat. Now what is this? Is this a merry-go-round or a carousel? That, well, I don't know. They have one, they have one tiger in there. So I, I, that, that could be a, we'll just say that's a merry-go-round. Because a merry-go-round has, a merry-go-round has mostly all horses. A carousel will have a mix of animals in it. But we talked about that. Excuse me. Yeah, there's the, uh, there's the soda shop. You can get your malts and cones and, like I said, they're not open yet. We'll see. Look at this. They have the sea monkeys. Wow. All right, I think that was pretty much the store, so I'm going to head outside and end this video real quick. But, uh. You can get a blow pop t-shirt, which is always cool. There's that popcorn. Told you. Trilogy of uh of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> that's what that's what that popcorn bucket's for. So yeah, let's go outside and uh I'm actually going to uh come back in and grab a few things. Ooh, and it is nice outside. But yeah, that was the little uh, trip to BA Sweetie Candy Company up here in Seatown. So if you're ever up in Northeast Ohio, in Cleveland, definitely make the trip. Um, I actually think I did grab a business card. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, right here. You can look online, but there's the hours, there's the times, there's the address, I believe, on there. And uh, just follow the map. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I uh, I tried to go as quick as I could in there, but at the same time show you every, you know, every part of the store, which I think we have done. So I want to thank everybody for coming on today's adventure. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the channel, leave a comment. You know what? In the comments, what's your favorite candy bar? Leave that. That would be good in the comments, right? Because we're at the candy store. So, thanks again for coming on today's adventure. And until I see you on the next adventure, wherever that may be, Fermalange. Okay, I lied. It hasn't happened for a long time, but it wasn't Fermalange yet. What we're going to do is I got some ghost pepper hard candy. So I thought it would be cool for uh, me and Mindy to try a piece of the candy. And uh, that'll be the, that will be the end of the video. We haven't done a food, uh, a little food review in a while, but this will be a candy review. I said the video was gonna be sweet, but uh, it's gonna be kind of ridiculous, right? Um, I tried to get, I got some other stuff. I tried to get a Clark bar, but they were completely out. So, but yeah, they come in these little candies like this. So we're just gonna try, uh, we're just gonna try one. This is ghost pepper hard candy. Warning, choking hazard. Okay, we know that. Uh, Flamethrowercandy.com. It doesn't say anything like extremely hot but it does have ghost pepper in it, it says. And to cool down, I got myself a frosty blue cream soda. And uh, she got her, so what kind of malt did you get? Peanut butter banana. Peanut butter banana. Reminds me of Elvis for some reason. But uh, here we go, we're gonna try the ghost pepper hard candy.
has a little bit of scratchiness to it. I can feel it a little bit. See, I, I like hot stuff, but what do you think? It's hot to you? I mean, mm hmm Eh. But when we were down in Florida, my son Joe gave me, uh, it was supposed to be the, what was it, the hottest beef jerky or something they gave me. It was made with... <laughs> <laughs> It was made with like scorpion pepper or whatever it was. And uh, I was just eating it like crazy. So I just have a high tolerance. <coughs> See? That's my allergies. Yeah, right. I don't think it's really that. Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this. You get that little tang in the back of your throat, but that's My me. My tongue's on fire. Really? I don't. There you have it. I think we've done this before with the. Was it the ghost whopper? I think we've done this before with the ghost whopper, and I was just eating it. <laughs> Can't handle the heat. Cannot handle the heat. But uh, yeah, I was okay with it. I didn't think it was a big deal. It, it's pretty cool though. It's it has that, you know. It's there's pepper in it, but uh, <coughs> I'm with. <coughs> Told you, puts that tickle in the back of your throat. There's the frosty. Let's take a swig of this. I love cream soda. Yeah, I love cream soda, and that's good. So, and it's cold. So, I thought it'd be a little fun ending to. Uh, do a little something like that uh, that we purchased from inside the candy store so now would be the real uh, thanks for coming on today's adventure and until I see you on the next adventure where that may be there